Dynasty fam, what's good, man? We just won our conference championship by a ton. This Rutgers team, again, one of the best teams I've ever had. We're advancing the bowl season and barring any, I gotta just say it, any three by this game. We should be in the national championship. Now, I've never even wanted to be in the national championship this bad before. Just because this is the best team. This might be the best team I've ever had, bro. And then again, like I might just be caught up in the moment. But I really love this team. If it's not the best team, it's definitely my favorite team. And I don't just mean Rutgers overall. I mean this year's team. You feel me? Like, this year's Rutgers team. You feel me? Not just, I'm not just saying Rutgers, just this whole dynasty. Cause I love this dynasty, but I'm saying just this year's team with Lasan and Warren and the way my quarterback situation seemed like an issue at first, but now I'm realizing, yo, this is, this was a blessing in disguise. You know what I'm saying? Um, Brent being the most dominant player I've ever had. And you know, bam. Now the craziest thing about it, we ain't nowhere near the Heisman list. Uh, Kelly Bryant from Clemson took that. I think we might be facing him actually um, in this game, so we're gonna see. But here we go. The son came back and took it. <clears throat> I'm so glad because I felt like he deserved that, man. He came back, got the Chuck mm -hmm. Derrick. so that's what's up. I definitely wanted him to get an award. We can't like hold none of this. What else we got? Brent got the bullet in the call. Let's go. What else we got? Brink got return of the year. Let's eat. Okay. Oh, coach of the year. Let me hold that. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, dog. So very happy with the awards we got. Blasson, one of my favorite players, dog. Blasson is one of my favorite players I think I've ever had. And here we go. We playing Washington. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They got two L's? How the hell they get in? <laughs> like, once it, I thought Clemson was undefeated. But I think Clemson had one loss. They must have lost again. And then... No! Ooh, they got hold. Bro, they got hold, bro. Dog, I'm saying they're in a major conference with one loss. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, this team lost two games in a row. <laughs> God, that's crazy. The only team they beat that's ranked is USC and UCLA right there in the end. And we we the one that put the chink in UCLA. Oh, no, never mind. I'm thinking about Wyoming. Never mind. Scratch that. Uh, but, dude, that's crazy. They lost to number 24 ASU bad. And then they lost to Stanford. Meanwhile, look at all these ranked schools. This team got hold. They only lost to us. They only lost to us. 21-31. That's, bro. they got robbed. Am I, maybe I'm tripping. Tell me in the comment section, am I tripping? Did I miss something on the schedule? Because I'm known to do that. But just from what I'm looking at, dog, look at the quality teams they beat. This is the same ASU team that beat Washington. Right? They beat them. You feel me? Then they beat Tam U. Well, Tam U was trash this year. Beat Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, FSU. They didn't have no ranked schools down here, but honestly, it shouldn't have mattered. It shouldn't have mattered. This team, they shouldn't have got it. I don't care what you say, though. I really don't. They beat number 12 UCLA last week, and that boosted them over Clemson. But they got two losses. And then Clemson beat a team that one of the teams they lost to. <sighs> That's crazy. Like Clemson lost to the number one team in the country. That's the only team they, they didn't beat. Why am I going so hard for Clemson? I mean, I do like Clemson, y'all know that. <laughs> but also they just really got hold. Like I'm just I'm just saying, this is extremely unfair. They lost to the number one team in the nation in week two and ain't lost since. Meanwhile, this team lost to the number 24 team in the nation and an unranked team. And they ain't beat nobody but USC. And they beat UCLA at the end. That's, man, that's, that is some cheap. We gonna beat the crap out of Washington just for you. We got you, Clemson. I wanted to play Kelly Bryant again because he brought a real, you know what I'm saying? He was tough playing against, and he won the Heisman. 
Now we gotta play against against old, old Washington. Who shouldn't even be here in my opinion. Well, alright, we're gonna show them. Uh we already looked at all of this. Let's see. I guess we'll just go to bowl games, just kinda see. Who else got some of the major bowl games? Uh Cotton Bowl, Florida, Kansas, Orange Bowl, Clemson, and Texas. Dude, I can't believe they did Clemson like that. I ain't never gonna get over that. Like, that's it. It's insane. They, that would have happened to me, bro. Honestly, dog. I might have had to put it down. I might have had to put the game down. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Alright, let's go and set up this skill tree real quick. We got an extra, an extra, extra. Now I could use this to start my game management up since this is a really big game, but all we got is Roll Warrior, but we playing we should be at home. And could save ourselves on this ice the kicker, but that's just 50% of the time. So let's just call it another timeout we hit anyway. So we really don't have enough time to build that up like we need to. So let's focus on next season, right? Let's get our insta commit game popping. Get the insta commit game popping. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> All right, bro. Dang, that's great. All right, season stats. Man. Here we go. Look at our season stats for the team. Well, let's see. Let's see where they fall real quick, and then we'll go into depth. So, Royal is fifty-first. He didn't play the whole season. McCoy way down there. Hey, Brent led the nation in uh, receiving yards, though. So that's what's up. Hey, Kyle Hester led in tackles and Willow was fourth. So we got two people in the top five along with Jabril Peppers. So that's what's up. Lamora kind of fell off, man. He had five, I think, early and then he stopped getting sacks. Like, all together. Blasson with nine. We could have led and got the Thorpe too. But, you know, we all know Blasson just dropped so many damn picks. It's ridiculous, bro. It is ridiculous, bro. All right, anyway, here we go. Look at the QB rating. Look at the QB rating. <sighs> 24 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Now, Big John, 7 touchdowns and 1 pick is obviously extremely impressive as well. Um, I will say this. Royal, two things. Royal made more difficult throws on a regular basis than uh, John Reed. And Brent really, really exploded. He really exploded like when Royal got in, you know what I'm saying? Which helped Royal, but maybe Royal also helped Brent. I think about it like that too. So anyway, we'll figure out exactly what we're gonna do with this. I actually, I know I've always been against it, but I kind of like the two quarterback system <laughs> with these two quarterbacks. Like, cause I like both of them, man. I really do. And I like for both of them to play. But maybe Big John moves around somewhere else. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, All right, Russia. This kind of shows you what you need to know, the difference between McCoy and Kareem Walker. And I felt like I started to lean toward McCoy a lot late in the season, but you can see right here, Walker has still got 40 more carries than McCoy does. 40, but he's got less yards. You know what I'm saying? Now he's got less yards in part because he does get the short down situations more often. So that's gonna hurt like with attempt to yard ratio. So I'm really just gonna throw that out. That, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Because this kind of shows you that. 12 rushing touchdowns. Because if we was on the goal line, guess who's getting the ball? Kareem. Whereas McCoy, if he going to score, he's going to have to do it from <laughs> from out a little bit. So, you know, that's what that is. Uh, Big John did a good job running the ball for us as well. Man, McCoy had an 8-yard run. That's crazy. See, that average yard per game is right there. It's the same thing. Ooh, this is kind of a shocking one. Yards out of contact. I didn't I wouldn't expected this to be similar. Okay, good job, McCoy. Um rushes over 20 yards. He has six. He's obviously is a big play guy. 13 broken tackles, and they each had a phone. Big John had five, but that was on like pitches and stuff like that. Um, alright, here we go. Our Belitna Kauf winner, man. 58 catches. Um Almost 1,400 yards. He will be over 14 after this national championship game. So that's crazy. Average 24 yards per reception, man. 18 touchdowns on the season. Uh, at an 87 yarder. Average over 100 a game. Look at that. 453 yards after the catch. Love it. Love it. You know? Uh, average yards after catch. Okay. 
averaging and six drops. Though. We gotta clean that up. Six drops on only 58 catches. Now a lot of his drops though do come in traffic where he's like trying to jump up and catch over somebody. So whatever. Anyway, Jawan Harris in real life. Of you, some people still don't know Jawan Harris is a real guy. I call him first. He plays baseball and football. He's actually better at baseball, I believe. He's a beast. All right. But um, here we go. 46 catches, my second leading receiver, 731 yards, more of a possession guy. Um, still average 16 a damn catch though. Eight touchdowns at a 50 yarder, 124 yards after catch, three drops. And then the Sean McCoy. Now again, this is where this guy could be so dangerous because he catches the ball a lot out the backfield. A lot of his yards go to this. And then they're basically run plays. So while his average yards per reception don't look like theirs, he catching it in the backfield, like damn near every time he catches it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then having to turn and run. So he just get him in space like that. So I really like using him that way as well. And I think he did a good job with that as well. So Jerome Washington, now my tight end, underutilized, I will admit. Uh, he came on really late in the season when I started utilizing him more. But uh, 31 catches, 320 yards, two touchdowns. LaShawn Childs was also a senior at 16 catches for 284. Didn't score this year. Uh, Kareem did okay. And that's, that's pretty much it for the relevant stuff. Well, Kyle Loxley is relevant because he's a guy who's a junior. He's 6'4", 200 pounds, be back next year, will be a 90-plus overall, and is probably the leading candidate to slide into LaShawn Childs' spot. You feel me? Yeah, he, he's definitely the leading candidate. Don't mean he's going to get it, but he's definitely the leading candidate. And we'll see. And I like every time he got in and made plays, I was like, who is this? I like this dude. You feel me? So we'll see what's up with him. And we got Rashad Blunt also. Only two catches. Yeah, I don't really remember none of these dudes. Um, Griffin Stewart, obviously, is going to be the starting tight end next year. He's the only one we got. And we got Jake Webb, who's just a red shirt freshman. Got in and caught a 29-yard pass. So we'll keep an eye out for him as well. Okay. Cool. Looking at our linemen. Good. Senior. Seniors. Junior. Senior. I am senior. Yeesh. All right. Key, Key or Kai Hester. Uh, we already talked about the fact that he led the team in tackles. 55 of those were solo. All right. 10 tackles for loss. Didn't get a sack. Didn't get a pick. Had one fumble recovery. Just a solid tackling machine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn, Javon Hawkins. Okay, I was about to say, why was Willer over him? But Willer had 47 solo. He only had 42 solo. But these both both of these guys had good seasons. I'm going to talk about what I didn't like in a second as we go through. Because I'm sure I'm going to see it. Damn, eight titles for loss. That's impressive. Had a sack, four interceptions, and Willer only had two. And he didn't have a sack. Uh, here we go. The, these drop picks, both of them, both of them, dog. Like the majority of these are just drop picks. Like maybe one or two of these are actually swats, but it's still at least six or seven drop picks by both of them. It's too much. It's unacceptable. Like both of them could have had such great years, but they just kept dropping these picks, and it really hurt Wheeler, man. It really hurt him. But he's just dropping every pick. I don't think he caught one screen. As you can see, two touch. Well, he probably caught one. Two touchdowns, one touchdown. They should have done much better than that. Good news is both of them be back next year. And, you know, we just keep it moving from there. Najee Clayton also be back. He might end up sliding the middle linebacker uh, since Hester is gone. We'll see. Because he's pretty good, man. 40 tackles, had four sacks. Like, that's what's up. Kaplan. I really like what Kaplan did. He played that nickel spot for me, and the nickel spot get a lot of tackles, all right? But he might be moving to the outside. We're going to see because Blasson and them is gone. You know, you don't get as many tackles out there. But anyway, uh, freshman, which is why I like him, 84 overall. He got in and did what I asked him to do. Had a good year, man. Two picks, nine deflections. Which is like, ugh. but it shows that he was at least playing some good defense because I don't use him. Like, if I don't use you and you got a lot of deflections, it's different. But, like, for Wheeler and uh, and Hulk, because I use him so much, it's like I know when they got deflections, it's drop pick because I don't LB that often with them. Unless I'm switching to somebody, I might LB, but most of the time with them, I'm trying to go for the pick. 
So, but if you're a computer player with nine deflections, that just show me what you can cover. All right, anyway, Trevor Morris had a good year. 31 tackles, two sacks. He'll be back. Blood Sun. My dog, Blood Sun, man. Nine picks, dog, and 15 <laughs> drops. Well, probably like 10 drops because some of those are deflections for real. Uh, Warden. I'm going to miss these two dudes, bro. I ain't lying. Warden had three picks and nine deflections. Forced fumble. I just felt like they just lock up them outside, bro. Outside locked up. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got to worry about too much. So Quan Hampton, he's out. And then we got Lamar. All right, man. So that's defensively. Then we got kick return. Um, 30 of them, over 1,000 yards on kick return. Of course, one return of the year. Average 34 yards, had three touchdowns on kick return. Both dominant players. All right, McCoy did a beautiful job, actually. He did a beautiful job on punt return, man. 346 yards, average 13, man. Child's got a couple of them. Had a good average, damn good average. Uh, but he only had two, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? His longest one was 20 yards, oh, so he got like nine on the other one. So his average is a little disproportionate because I think McCoy was hurt at that time. But um, either way, McCoy had a 50-yard return. I mean, he just really holds us down with field position. I'm very happy with what he was able to bring to us. He, he got a slow. He got off to a slow start. You know what I'm saying? But eventually, I felt like he really kind of came into his own. So I was happy about that. Hmm. <sighs> All right, let's look at championship contenders, and then we'll look at all the Americans, and I think that's going to be it. You see us sitting on top. You know what I mean? Next year, they got us at 22, but 2018, they got us one. So I'm liking, like, really liking that. 17, they got us at seven. So they're thinking that with the people we got by 18, we'll be dominant again. But I'm thinking we'll stay dominant. You feel me? I'm thinking we'll stay dominant. Ooh, look at Ohio State next year. Hmm. Let's see. Ohio State, Notre Dame, Oklahoma. Clemson, if y'all don't hold them, like y'all like, like to do. Anyway, all Americans. All right, we got Brent. Goddamn, that's it. Okay. Uh, defense is, is stacked. The Sun, Hawk, Wheeler, and my punter, all first team All American. That's what's up. Uh, second team. How Kelly Bryant get second team, but he won the high? Um, ooh. We got Applefield and Heeman, both seniors. Okay, Lemur made it. That's what's up. Hester made second team. Okay. Freshman. We got, look at, look at it, look at it, look at it. Royal, McCoy, my center. That's it, though. And Kaplan and Hawk. Of course, Hawk. Triple, because he made the main one. Yo, how did Means... Yo, Means made it here as a return. Bruh. <laughs> he got no sense. All right, man. That's going to do it for the deep dive. We got the Natty coming up later. Um... Very excited for it. I'll see y'all then. Flip my rap. Wow.